Brown. He's from around the line side. He's got a man out there. Caught. Conference pride on the line. Welcome back to Retro Bowl Mania, and it's championship time. It's time for the Celebration Bowl, and the winner will be the champions of all the HBCUs, and that's the historically black college and universities. And we've got your North Carolina A&T Aggies taking on Grambling State, your beloved Tigers. Let's get straight to the action, folks. It's Celebration Bowl time. And Grambling gets the ball first. And they're going to be starting off at their own 37-yard line. And quarterback Nair Gentry is leading the team as he's done all season long. And a nice pass right there, 19 yards to start off the game. And just like that, they're already in the territory. Ooh, and a bad pass by Gentry right there. But they're already in. And T territory. There's a pass right there. And it goes to one of our famous players. That's right, the tight end with no name. And he moves the chains. And it's first and ten. And there's a pass right there. And that's Mr. Who else but Jannard Linder. Who literally has been on video game mode this year. 204 catches going into the season and almost 3,000 yards. This guy is definitely a surefire ring of uh, Hall of Famer. And Patrick Holden gets a handoff, and he goes nine yards right there. Holden, also the running back, as he gets stopped right before the goal line, he's rushed for 1,000 yards this season. He's definitely added to this offensive attack. And just like that, he pounds it in, three carries, nine yards for the touchdown. And Grambling is going for the two-point conversion. And I think they're going for the Gentry special. And yes, they get it. And Grambling's up eight to nothing, just like that. But a and they said they're here for a reason. And that reason is they want to get the trophy for the Celebration Bowl, and they score, but they don't make the two-point conversion, so Grambling's got the ball back. And they're starting a good field position at 32-yard line. Oh, and a four-yard catch. Linder. They've got second down. Here's a pass, and dangerous. And Gentry almost gets intercepted. He's had a problem this year with interceptions, as he's had about 20 so far. And the running back, Holden, who I did mention before, who has rushed for 1,000 yards, is also a dangerous uh, receiver out the backfield who has uh, caught 51 passes before this game. Oh, and a and they don't get him before he uh, catches or gets the first down, but they give him something to think about. And Eddie Little, he gets into the fun with the 18-yard Catch right there. And hold in. Hold in. Oh. And he goes 18 yards right there. At the end of the first quarter. Thought he was going to uh, punch it in. As we see the replay right there. A nifty move. And they are inside the red zone. At the end of the first quarter. You've got your Grambling State Tigers up. 8-6. to six Over the Aggies. And hold in. He kicks it to the outside and hold it with the second touchdown of the game right there. Dives into the end zone with a seven-yard uh, touchdown right there and brings Grambling up 14-6. to six. And, yeah, they're going for a two-point conversion. And Holden, Patrick Holden brings it in. And, yes, our Grambling State Tigers are up 10 points, 16-6 to six right now. But A&T is on the move once again. But they get stopped. And then they go for the field goal and miss. And that's definitely going to have to uh, hurt right there. Oh, hold him for eight yards. But that's going to hurt. 
because it looks like their defense is not able to stop grambling, so they're probably going to have to score each and every time. Eddie Little with the first down. Here's a pass right there. Oh, and Linder, 14 more yards. This guy usually racks up 200-yard games like it's nothing. And this time it's holding out the backfield, 16 more. And they're in business once again. Holden. And he goes for five more yards. Second down. And he kicks it to the outside right there. Oh, stiff arm, 14 yards right there. And once again, red zone. Oh, the ball must have slipped and got out of uh, the way for Gentry right there as he threw it out of bounds. Oh, 16 more for Jannard. Brings it first and goal right there at the three-yard line. Single coverage, Eddie Little. That's pro oh, and good coverage right there. Had to try to go uh, un or go beneath right there to tight end with no name. Didn't work right there. They're going back to Linder. And Jannard Linder for the four-yard touchdown. Excuse me, three-yard. As he muscles his way right there for the catch. They're going for the two-point conversion. And they're going for the Gentry special. And he dives in. And just like that, it's 24-6. to six. And it's the end of the first half. Grambling with a comfortable lead. Grambling kicks off to a &T And let's see if they can answer. And they're on the move. And yes, they do answer just like that. But they don't get the two-point conversion. 24 to 12. Let's see if they can stop Grambling right here. Here's a pass. They're not going to stop him this time. As they go over the top to Eddie Little. To the 30. 25 is still going. Oh, a 60-yard completion right there to the 14. Eddie Little, he's got that world-class speed right there, and Linder threw a little bit behind, but he was able to catch it. Makes two people miss right there and gets all the way to the 14. You know what it's getting ready to be right here. Patrick Holden, and kicks it to the outside right there, seven yards. And it's second down. I think they're looking for Linder once again. No, he's double covered. So what do they do? They go to Eddie Little underneath. And with the four-yard touchdown, as we see right here at the replay, they bring it to 30 to 12, and they're comfortably right now with the lead. And Little right there for the two-point conversion. And it's a 20-point game right now, 32 to 12. And a t is on a move, and they are bringing it back. And they score once again. Wow. And I think they need to fire their special teams coach. They've missed a two-point conversion and missed field goal and extra points. This is not working for them. Oh, and nice catch underneath Jannard Linder. Seven yards. Linder single coverage. Is going to air it out for him. And good coverage right there as it's batted away and it's third and three. We're going right back to Eddie Little, and I think this time they're going to get it. And Eddie Little catches to the five, and he gets in for the touchdown. 38 yards right there. A beautiful thrown ball right there by Jannard, or uh, excuse me, Nidair Gentry. There's a tackle, but it wasn't enough. And they've gone up 38 to 18. And there it is. Eddie Little with the two-point conversion. Then in your third quarter, it's 40 to 18. And barring any catastrophe, it looks like Grambling State are going to be your champions. But A&T is not going away. They are not laying down, and they score. They go for an onside kick. But it didn't work right there as Grambling recovers. Here's a pass. Oh, and Eddie Little, who's had a monster game right there. 17-yard completion. And Jannard 
Makes a miss. He makes another miss. And he gets to the 7-yard line, 23-yard completion. Let's see what we're going to get this time. Oh! And Little catches it, but cannot punch it in. And it goes there to the tight end with no name. Gets himself on a stat sheet. The touchdown. And it's 46 to 26. Let's see, going for a two point conversion. And yes, none other than Patrick Holden, who was red hot at the beginning. It's 48 to 26. And eight and T, I was getting ready to call him AT and T, puts up 32 points. Respectable right there. We've got Eddie Little once again, one on one. Oh, a catch, 10 yards right there. Gets the first down. As Gentry was blasted right there, he was able to still get rid of the ball. And I think Gentry just threw it away right there as there is double coverage. Here we go. Oh, and there's a sack right there. What a sack. It's going to bring a third and 16. And here's a throw. Oh, and Linder goes for 16. But unfortunately, he was tackled right there. So let's see what's going to happen here. And Eddie Little. Oh, Little catches it. There's time for one more play. Let's see if they can punch it into the end zone. They're going for Linder right here. And that's it, folks. Didn't get the touchdown, but it's over. And Grambling State are your champions, the Celebration Bowl champions. And let's watch the celebration of Grambling State. 48-32, to that unstoppable offense. Gentry was on point today. And as we look at the stats right there, there it is, a celebration. Head coach Thunder Williams brings him all the way to the championship. It's got to feel good. As we just soak it in for a few seconds. There's a picture. We etch it in the memory forever. And let's move forward. The news. Gentry, incredible. Holden, incredible. Linder, incredible. Little, incredible. But unfortunately, the defense was just so-so. And you see, as they gave up over 30 points, it was the offense that carried them this whole season. Gentry is the MVP of the league this year. Eddie Little, Offensive Player of the Year. And Jannar Linder, Rookie of the Year. So the offense cleans up. Let's take a look at the end of the year stats. Nider Gentry almost passed for 6,000 yards right there. 64 touchdowns. And we talked about the uh, interception trouble. But fortunately, no interceptions in the Celebration Bowl. Let's see. Hold on for a second. As we go back, we're having technical difficulties. All right, as we move forward here, Gentry rushed for over 300 yards this year, 12 touchdowns, and a host of two-point conversions. Patrick Holden rushed for almost 70 yards. And then also at 30 yards. So he was responsible for 1,700 yards between rushing and receiving. Great season. And there he is. Jannar Linder, who played on a video game mode for most of the season, sets a retro bowl record 215 receptions over 3,000 yards. This guy was amazing this year. Eddie Little, also, 
The MVP right there, 148 receptions over 2,000 yards. And what a game. Almost 200 yards in the championship game. Big time players, as we call them, the big man, Eddie Little, play big in big time games. There's a defense. Engram, decent game. Spriggs, decent. Lemons comes up big, 13 tackles. Mannion won't be around next year. He's losing his scholarship, unfortunately. Filer, seven tackles, decent. Jedian, he's also going to lose his scholarship. Just not what we're expecting here. So, folks, we're getting out of here. And your champions this year, at the end of this season of Retro Bowl Mania, we're going to be moving forward, and you're just going to have to wait and see where the uh, train is going to stop next. But I can guarantee you it's going to be exciting. And here's a hint. I think it's going to stop in South Country, Southeastern Conference, the SEC. So let's get ready because it's going to be another exciting and big season. So stay tuned. And I thank you guys for supporting us on NCAA Retro Bowl Mania. And it's been great, a fun season. And until next time. We're going to say peace and love. Never seen before and never will be.